love a good horror movie. And I also really love a good black and white horror movie. The look, the feel, I think it changes everything. So today, Mr. Saltine and I are going to be going over our top black and white horror films. Are you ready, Mr. Saltine? I am beyond ready. Yes, let's do this. Not since the beginning of time has the world known terror like this. 1956 is The Creature from the Black Lagoon is for sure one of my favorites. We follow a group of scientists that travel to South America to find an undiscovered beast. Science couldn't explain it, but it's there causing havoc in the deep waters of the Amazon. The Creature is the perfect monster for our movie, and this was also shot and released in the theater in 3D, and I'm sure that would have been scary as hell to see at the time. Even though the creature is a guy in a bodysuit, I think it looks phenomenal. I've always loved this movie, and I think it still stands up today. So next time you're at some lagoon, be careful. Because the creature just might be lurking under that water. Nosferatu. This incredible silent horror movie has influenced so many movies. It's a camera work for the time and its use of shadows that makes the character stand out so much. The movie's incredible makeup effects on the vampire still hold up nearly a hundred years after its release. This is one of the most terrifying vampires in the history of film. Nosferatu, you are scary. Frankenstein is one fantastic sequel. The events take place moments after what happened in Frankenstein. The monster lived and is now wreaking havoc again. The film works great on its own and as a sequel to Frankenstein from 1931. The movie has scares, it's funny, and dramatic. I love the scene where the monster meets the blind man and they have some touching moments together. I actually really like that scene. Dr. Frankenstein's new accomplice is quite the unique bad guy who is also a doctor who is doing his own experiments, putting people in small bottles and doing weird other things. Dr. Frankenstein and him team up and help the monster find a mate. And that's where we come to that Bride of Frankenstein. The Bride is not in a lot of this movie, but the scenes she is in are well worth the watch. Bride of Frankenstein is one of my favorite Universal Classic monster movies, and I would recommend it in a second. And also, how can the movie be bad when you get to see the monster smoking a stogie? No, no, this is good. Smoke. You try. Oh. <laughs> good, good. A girl walks home alone at night. This title alone intrigued me to watch it. But know this. Just because there's a girl walking alone at night doesn't necessarily mean she's the one in trouble. This 2014 black and white horror movie set in a town called Bad City filled with pimps, prostitutes, and drug dealers is a movie that definitely stands out. In fact, it was after watching this movie that it inspired me to make my top black and white horror movies list. Our main character, the girl, is the perfect killer stalking her prey like a cobra. By the way, talk about simple, ingenious costume design. She literally looks like a cobra in this movie, and she mimics her prey like a cobra would. Choosing to go black and white in 2014 with its gritty film noir look makes this already great movie stand out even more. There are so many vampire films out there, and it's so refreshing to see something so original like this in the modern day. Yes, this is an art house horror movie, but who cares? It works. The relationship between the girl and the guy is actually very intriguing. And it's suspenseful because you're constantly wondering, is she gonna vamp out on this guy pretty soon? Also, the score in the music is spot on. There's a beautiful scene between our main characters with the music from White Lies that is just outstanding. Definitely check this one out. And remember everyone, always be careful when you're walking alone at night. Alfred Hitchcock is truly the master of suspense and horror, and Psycho goes down as one of the greatest horror movies of all time. It's definitely influenced every filmmaker that loves the genre. Norman Bates is the perfect killer. 
He's got a hotel. He's got a bunch of rooms, and there's a bunch of people that could stop by that he could take out and kill and make them disappear one by one. And he's kind of a mommy's boy too. The shower scene is something that changed horror cinema. It changed the way we made horror movies. It was shot perfectly, it was edited perfectly, and the score still stands out to this day. Psycho is truly a classic and it's one phenomenal black and white movie. Romero's Night of the Living Dead probably stands as one of the most influential horror movies of all time. His zombie movies set the stage and the standard rules that zombie movies would follow for decades later. If you go to your local videos, there's no video stores, oops. If you go to your local streaming service, there'll be tons of zombie movies. They literally have been influenced by Night of the Living Dead. There were zombie movies before this, but this is the one that influenced us all. We follow a bunch of characters stuck in a little house and have to deal with all the outside threat of these living dead people. And also we deal with the threat of the humans that are in the house. This movie does not hold back in its gore, in its blood, and its black and white look truly makes it even more terrifying. And I'm not going to spoil it for you, but there is an ending that is quite shocking. If you've seen this movie, then you know what I'm talking about. Watch it again. Trust me, you will dig it. And if you haven't seen it, go rent it at... I mean, go stream it. Go stream it. They're coming to get you, Barbara. I hope you enjoyed our list and subscribe and like to the channel. Um, are those those zombies? Those look like zombies. Uh, uh, yeah, those look like zombies too. Um, I'm gonna go. I see an old house down there. I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys later. No, 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 no.